At the home of the Tri-Service Intelligence Training, two of the film's stars, Catherine Zena-Jones and Blake Harrison, have turned out and the crowd couldn't be more excited. Who do you think you are kidding, Mr Hitler? My hoping is, well, I've got no expectations whatsoever, so hopefully it'll, be, it'll be a good film. I've, I've known Dad's Army all my life, it's one of my favourites. But how do you connect the remake of a 60s TV series about the Second World War and today's military personnel? And let's not forget when it came out, the viewers were men and men, predominantly, who had been, you know, out in the field in, in, in the war. They knew that time. And um, it was sometimes it's, a, it's like a light relief of, you know, the humor was, was like, a, like a, a tonic for them um, after going through such hardships and, you know, the, the, the country being in such hardships for those years. So, and then through the generations, um, it's just been passed down in a way, something very heartwarming and nostalgic about it. Ultimately, it, it's very British humor. It's about, you know, laughing at our own inadequacies and I think also even not just in the humour but the, those heartfelt moments that are in this film feel very quintessentially British and we have got a very proud military history. At the end of the day can the revamp live up to the legacy of the original TV show? It's very good, very well done. Especially Captain Man, Man Waring and uh, Corporal Jones I think he, you know, he's absolutely brilliant. I think that uh, it captured some of the original humour and uh, some of the characteristics of uh, the characters replicating what they'd uh, seen earlier on was just fantastic. I think the little throwback, the little touches back to the old, uh, the old movie um, and of course a couple of little cameos there from the original stars. Oh, chasing the cow. <laughs> a hit it seems with the military. Dad's Army hits cinemas on February 5th.